What's up, dude? Fuck that pearly. You should get new to Matthew, but what's now? Say, I'm not dead, 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 dead. Yeah, he's drunk. I got the coke. We in here. What's going on? Yes, we in here. Y'all see what it is? Y'all see the title? Y'all see the thumbnail? Yeah, this has to be one of the most highly anticipated comic books of the year. That's crazy because we just had blood, huh? Oh, bitch, 17. Yeah, you see who that is? Y'all, boy, look. Before we begin, before we begin, like, share, subscribe. You like it, leave a comment. You don't like it, leave a constructive comment. We're going to jump off into this thing. We are because it's, it, it's, boy, look. It was the image in this book that just was making headlines about a month ago. Folks was thinking some stuff. Boy, I, woo. Boy, I'm glad I mm, couldn't wait to get this in my possession right here, young. Let's go ahead and get the talented team, creative team. Let's go ahead and introduce them. We got Jed McKay. I don't think you really need no introduction. And we got Valerio Sheedy as the artist. I'm hoping I got the last name right. Y'all know I don't like messing up. Let's go ahead and dive up into this thing. Opening up the book, we find Carol admonishing the team. That's what I said. I said admonishing. Admonishing the team despite their victory over Varney and the blood COVID. Billions were saved, but thousands got deleted. It's YouTube. I got to watch what I say. <laughs> T'Challa and Wanda try to get Carol to take a look at the pros Vice to cons. Carol ain't hearing it. Miles Morales is now a vampire. Did he really need that? Never mind. <clears throat> Vampires can now walk around in broad daylight. That's a lot. That, 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 that's a lot. And Dr. Doom is now the source of Supreme. Damn. Theo, why you shaking your head? Just I don't I don't know why never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. You know things are discombobulated if Tony has to be the one to de-escalate things. Yeah, because Carol is in her feelings, for real, for real. Only for Sam to say, Carol is right. Oh, that's crazy. We moved to Gainesville, Florida. I don't... First of all, Jed, Mr. Jed McKay, shout out to you for even acknowledging Gainesville, Florida. I don't like them. You see what I got on? I live in Tallahassee. I'm a diehard George Bulldog fan. There's not a damn thing good going on in Gainesville, Florida, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> So, so if you living in Gainesville, Florida, or you you happen to be a, a Florida Gator fan, I ain't got nothing for you. <laughs> Gainesville, Florida, a place where no Georgia Bulldog will ever be caught. Never. A week prior to Blood Hunt, we see someone hand a stranger a flash drive and a chunk of gold. That's, that's what that is. All things considered, at the end, I bet the giver didn't plan on the receiver having too long to spend that gold. You'll find out as, as the story goes along why I said that. <laughs> the giver tells the receiver to take the flash drive to the local news in 10 days. Give him 10 days. We move back to current time where we find Tony chopping it up with Carol. He's her handler. She She's an alcoholic. He's an alcoholic. He's an alcoholic before she was. Demon in the bottle. Go back and check that out. He's a handler, and being an alcoholic himself, he's curious about her current behavior. This is how Roro will become team leader if you if you ask me. You didn't, but I'm thinking Carol just going to step down. Flat out, he asks her, are you trading one addiction for another? Turns out, guilt can be an addiction, and because you're the one feeling the guilt, it makes it easy to do. He's not wrong. He's not wrong at all. Back over to the impossible city, and this conversation is deep. It's, it's real deep, to be perfectly honest with you. Like, they they bonded for real. Like, they, they confiding in one another. Like, this. 
There's a huge amount of respect mm -hmm. between the two. The city admits that being held under the sway of the blood COVID so soon after being controlled by the ash and combine is effing with it. It city it's, it's effing with the city. Crisis. Confidence. Shook. I get it. Traumatized. You know, and maybe I shouldn't even be looking at it like that because one is human and one is a machine. But if Eric looks shook, hell yeah. Because <laughs> I ain't never seen Eric look shook. Eric looked like he been through some stuff. You saw the you saw the ending of, of, of what? No, it wasn't even Dracula. It was the ending of what was it? Midnight Suns issue three. You saw that Eric looked boy. Eric looked so. If Eric looks shook, yeah, I can understand why the ship feels. But that's they still. <laughs> the dialogue between the two reveals that when the Avengers faced off against the Twilight Court, they did not turn up on the city censors as they they did, as if they weren't there. Now I got questions, and and y'all gonna be like, with well, Theo, why you got questions? Because while my brother D Real has been covering it, and if y'all have been keeping up with the Avengers. My brother D Real has been covering it on his channel. Now I'm like, okay, now I got to go back and find some stuff. Because y'all know how I get down. I don't, I, don't like, I, don't, I don't like stuff like that. I got to find out what's going on. <laughs> From there, we see Wanda visiting the vision in a garden that he and the city have grown and cultivated. Aurora going to love this. when she, Because y'all know when she used to be at the X Mansion, you know how she. Y'all? Okay. Never mind. From there, we see Wanda visiting the vision in a garden that he and the city have grown and cultivated. She's seeking his counsel in regards to what Carol stated earlier. Wanda and Vision sitting in the tree. Is that her hand on his chest? Look like it. While he understands Wanda's point of view, the way he puts it is that a thousand sets of complex data were lost, deleted. To him, that means they failed. When this scene here, like I said, you see the hand on it? <laughs> to the coupier, coupier belt, uh, coupier belt. Pluto, we see a lone figure contemplating life and its meaning. I'm not sure I like his response. I don't, I don't, I don't think. <laughs> Atlanta, Georgia, home of the Atlanta Falcons. <clears throat> Where we see Sam greeting Aurora. Sam greeting Aurora in Atlanta. There were so many people that had so much to say about this, about this, about this panel right here. Just gonna call y'all the love and hip hop generation. Because y'all all know love, respect, and appreciation is drama. That's all y'all think love is. No respect, no appreciation. That's drama. That's, that's, that's it. it. Don't be in no relationship with nobody that thought this right here was Sam trying to holler at Aurora. Don't, don't, be, don't get in no relationship with nobody like that. Don't, don't, don't. Because anything you do, they going to swear you trying to holler or you getting hollered at. Just, just, you don't need it. You, you, don't, you don't need it. You don't, you don't need it. We gonna, you, you, you don't need it. Back down story. They chopping it up. What more could have been done to prevent blood hunt? <laughs> Nothing. What could have been done to prevent the war with orcas? With blood hunt, there were no signs. No, it didn't. It just came out of left field. But with orcas, when it comes to humans war with mutants, a strong argument could be made that the Avengers ignored these signs for quite some time. Still be looking to the Everywhere else but what's going on when it comes to mutants. There's a comparative story here in regards to America, but I never understood how we read the X-Men. We comic book fans. We sat up there and watched X-Men 97. How in the hell can we watch the X-Men complain about them going through some stuff but then turn around and do it to people, right? This, never mind. Uh -huh.
How long has X Men been around? How, how long has X Men been around? No, no. How long has X Men been around? Okay, so just by them being around, period, and the amount of fans that they have, bigotry and racism really should 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 be on a steep. Steep decline should have been on a steep. I don't even know why we got it to be perfectly honest with you. The comic book, whether you feel like Eric and Charles got any damn thing to do with Malcolm and Martin, whether the mutants got a damn thing to do with African American black people, the fact that you can draw a comparison should be a damn enough, but clearly it ain't. <laughs> Speaking with Sam in Atlanta. That whole Falcon statement. Y'all don't want to. You spin the block. He in Atlanta. You don't think him, T'Challa, and Aurora want to go check out some Falcon games? <laughs> CD. Red and black. He can keep the shield. Start working on that. That's, it's a failed experiment. You've been trying. Nobody likes it. Nobody's accepting it. We're not. Nobody gives too damn about that movie that's coming out. We are gonna buy the action figure because it's coming with the coming with the helmet. But we don't, we've never liked Sam. And when I say we CB, we get it. We understand. I'm a proud American CB. I am. I'm a proud American Marine Corps veteran. I am. I am. I no. I no. I don't. I don't need that to represent America. I don't. I don't need to be called Captain America. To be, to conduct myself like Captain America. I don't, I don't, I don't need that. I don't want Steve Rogers' name. That's his name. It's not a title. Y'all called him that. That's what that was, Captain America. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, something happened to Captain America. It's somebody. But no, Sam is the Falcon. Go ahead. What jo Joaquin Torres? Go have to call him something else. The Falcons. Football season coming up. I don't know why y'all ain't ever done that. That that just tells me it, it's a difference between nerds and athletes. But the the, the the nerds that are athletes, the athletes that are nerds, gonna have to start saying some stuff because we missing some money. I don't, CB, you hit up the NFL. Make that do what it do. Transition back to Swampland. <laughs> and we find that the receiver, the guy who got the chunk of gold in the flash drive, has delivered the flash drive like he promised the giver, the guy who gave it to him. I'm guessing the command was the Floridian team. The command? That team sucked. <laughs> I looked at the roster. Aquarian? Jennifer Kale? Conquistador? And Siege? That's who you had watching over Florida? I don't act like that. The Georgia team wasn't that much damn better. It just, that's sorry. You know what that means? Y'all, but never mind. I bet everybody and their mom was in New York, though, huh? <laughs> anyway, the flash drive gets open, and it's message from, wait, wait, wait. We got to go check on Thor. We got we to gotta check on Thor. He's, he's in conversation with the city, and he admits he, admits he feeling unfulfilled. <clears throat> Then we see that the message on the flash drive is from Hyperion. Yes, it's from Hyperion. The Heroes Reborn version, because there's quite a few of them out there. To me, he's always been an immature child. I don't like him. <laughs> I don't know. He's a pompous ass. I don't, I don't. But then again, he being written. And I guess that's how I'm supposed to feel about it. I do like the Hyperion that went out like a G with Thor, though. I liked him. He was cool. This one, I don't like him. I don't like most of them, to be perfectly honest with you. But anyway. <laughs> See Phil Coulson, with the help of Mephisto, created a reality that wasn't real. That's what happened. Phil Coulson hooked it. Yeah, yeah. Phil Coulson, who wasn't a comic book character due to his popularity, live action, became a comic book character and cut a side deal with Mephisto. 
The Squadron Supreme existed in that alternate reality. They did. And while I think it's safe to say that Nighthawk adjusted, where is Nighthawk, by the way? Adjusted pretty well because he actually joined the Avengers. Clearly, Hyperchild ain't been able to do so. Long story short, because he and his feelings, he wanted to destroy the Earth. I told you I never liked that dude. Of course, while he's making this declaration, the Avengers are scrambling. For next issue, I have one request to the creative team. Make an example out of Hyperion so bad, so bad, he becomes an honest-to-goodness superhero. Like he does a complete one. He beat his at Dragon. Tired of this dude because he keep thinking he can pull up. And I don't, I don't like it. He, he ain't even giving folks the respect. At least Vic feel like he got to go do some sneaky stuff. High period just now. No, no. He, 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 that need to get up out of him. Y'all make it do what it do. Um, I, Like I said, I ain't never liked the guy. That's it. I like the issue. I did. Nice, nice change of pace. We got, we, we, we because the adventure was just rolling right along. You, you slowed it down for an issue, setting us up for the next big thing. I liked it. I don't like Hyperion. Aurora, you bring her to the team. That's all right, right there. Sam, that's a good conversation between two friends. I got questions about the conversation between T'Challa and, 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 and the ship. I, I got questions. Because the ship and T'Challa cool. I'm of the mindset the ship is cooler with T'Challa than any other adventure. They they they've been kicking the bobo for a minute now. I, I ain't saying I'm just saying, listen, <clears throat> we're gonna see what's going on. We are gonna come back with Avengers 18 and everything like that. Yeah, Jim McKay got my chain. I mean, we, we and we got it's three of us on the same team. Oh Lord Jesus have mercy. I don't, I think the last time I seen that much chocolate on one team, it was on the X-Men, and that didn't last long because it was the Hellfire Celebration Gala or whatever, and Nimrod came through and irked it, just effed it all to be damned. And since then, we got folks over there, X-Men, telling us we ain't really got no X-Men, black X-Men worth them. We got, but we got three. We got, boy, let's, uh, Jed, thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. I ain't saying it's always got to be like this, but I'm saying thank you. As, as a comic book fan that's been reading these comics for a minute now, I ain't never seen this on an Avengers roster. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. CB, you see we did the comic book review and everything like that. They we want us to come back and do a live breakdown. Me and my brother D-Real. We're going to do that. 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Sunday. So y'all come on back. We're going to do a live breakdown. Reaction, live response, live review to Avengers 17, and if I'm not mistaken, Ultimate Black Panther 7. That said, like, share, subscribe. I ain't saying I'm just saying. Peace.